who ever thought about this name, was obviously trying to find a safe password instead of creating a product name. Don't mind the stickers, I had to change the appearance because this is the Clavo N957TP6. It's one of the machines that most reliably rendered all the stuff I gave it. And now after a few months of using it, I might as well tell you what it's like to work on this machine. I am not a gamer and I will never become a good gamer because if I spend time in front of the computer, that's when I work. And the rest of the time I want to spend behind my camera. So this is a rendering machine and if you are a gamer and you want to know about the specs, please Google them because I'm not the person to explain G-Sync and all the other stuff. It's a fast machine that I can travel with. And if you're a content creator, you might ask me, how can you create content on a display like this? Because it's only 6-bit. And yes, you're right. And if you've got fingernails and a screwdriver and an extra 60 bucks, you can change that problem. But I would never endorse changing the panel on these machines because it would void your warranty. But you know what I'm talking about. Basically, this is my render machine. It sits in the hotel room and it renders. There is nothing more to it and I wouldn't actually use it for anything else than rendering. As a creator of virtual realities on stage, I render a lot. And this is my daily driver, a 2013 MacBook Pro. And this thing gets really hot sometimes. So I thought, let's get a machine that has a huge ventilation system to let out all the hot air. If you turn this thing around you find a grill that is held by three Phillips screws so if you open this, push down a little and pull it back, you can open the grill and you reach the components. Two NVMe slots, a huge cooling compartment for the processor which is held down by a simple clamp so this is a desktop grade processor, two slots for SO DIMM RAM and an extra two and a half inch bay for an SSD drive for example. So you can access everything in your computer and if you run out of battery you just pull it out and change it. Those were the times, Apple, those were the times. Unfortunately this computer is a fingerprint magnet so if you touch it you might want to clean it afterwards. The whole keyboard stroke feels okay, it's certainly more keyboard like than the MacBook Pro. And the layout is a little off. So not only is it difficult to read the letters on the keys but the arrow keys just moved in to give space to the number block. But the trackpad really sucks. It just makes you want to use a mouse. It feels a little off when you use it. It's really tricky to point your mouse. The two mouse buttons, I wonder why they didn't add in a third one, but okay. I kind of recessed into the chassis, so you have to reach inside to press it. It's just not as clicky and comfortable as the MacBook Pro's touchpad. But if there's something that really separates this machine from the latest MacBook Pro's, it's the sheer choice of I.O. There is an Ethernet port, HDMI directly wired to the GTH 1060, two mini display ports which are separately wired to the graphic cards, USB-C which is not Thunderbolt 3 but who cares, a USB 3 port, and the often missed SD card slot which is a joy. On the other side of the machine you'll find a microphone jack a headphone jack, a USB 3 port and for some inexplicable reason a USB 2 port as if somebody designed this machine to run from these USB 2 sticks that you get when you try to install a Hackintosh but who would do that kind of thing?
can your MacBook Pro do this? And this is what a laptop can perform if it's cooled properly, as you can hear, while rendering After Effects and rendering Houdini at the same time at a pretty decent speed. The reason to buy this thing is obviously the size and the price. It easily comes to every hotel room and it does an incredible job rendering all the projects abroad. The price tag on one of these reasonably equipped gaming laptops is about one and a half thousand euros. The same thing with some fruit on the cover might end up at 5,000 at least. So why would I do that? <laughs>